Okay, this is the last part of my video thing that I have, and it's the exercising part, and it's also the setbacks a little, if I get that fit in there. Okay, exercising, let me just say, when I first started out exercising, I hated it with the crap, because I was in pain all the time. I just couldn't do it, and you get frustrated. Well, you got to get through it. You got to get through that phase where you don't want to exercise, or maybe get through that, you know, you're excited, so you do want to exercise, and then you, you hit the spot where you're tired, and you don't want to, you got to get through that stuff, and it was hard, but you got to just get through it, there's no easy way around it, or under it, or above it, you just got to go through it, so, I have different uh, exercises that I do, because I got to keep myself entertained, trust me, I can get very bored with something it's very easy for me to get bored with things so i recommend my first recommendation even though it wasn't the first thing i tried it's the only it's one of the things that has helped me lose weight which is kind of you know funny you think running strictly running would help no it doesn't doing one exercise actually does not help your body it helps the spots that 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 exercise is helping there's no real exercise to help your whole body. So I'd probably just yoga. But that doesn't help with your cardio that much. Unless you do high yoga. Which is hard. I recommend yoga. I personally. I use. Um, Ashley Turner. On Element. And she actually has a Facebook. And I'm subscribed to her. Um, this is the, the flexibility. And the stress relief. Let me tell you. If you exercise for different reasons, you're going to lose your weight. I exercise, this yoga was a stress relief. It was meditation. It was dealing with something in my life that I just couldn't deal with. So, I mean, and that problem is still there, but it's getting better. I guess you could say. But yoga, it helps, you know, deal with it. And a lot of, and Ashley Turner, you know, she was like, think about a relationship in your life. Or think about something you know, becoming flexible in your whole life. So yoga is more physical and mental. It's both. It, you get all of it in some way. Not really. It doesn't teach you social advice. It, it teaches you how to deal with things. And then I also have the weight loss one, which is a little more intense. Same lady, Ashley Turner. I like her voice. And she actually has a master's in psychology. Just because you do yoga doesn't mean you're Buddhist or anything. It just... This one, I mean, this has nothing to do with Buddhists. This is more psychology than it is anything. That's why I like this show. And I like her voice. I've, to me, the voice of the yoga instructor is actually more important than I think. I try to do hot yoga, and the lady's voice, I want to do just walk her out. Because her voice was just so... Mm. And... And, uh, I, yoga. I was doing three times a week, because I'm trying to get flexible. And, that was pretty intense, but, it, it is somewhat time consuming, but it's, it's worth it. Oh, trust me, it's worth it. You feel better. The blood, what the thing about yoga is, that most other exercises don't have, it gets your blood flowing throughout your whole body. I mean, the whole body. And you do more things than you normally would. You would want, you know, I would go yoga, I would do yoga, and afterwards, I would want to go running. Because I just had so much energy from sitting around, or doing stretches and all that, because my blood was flowing. And I would want to clean, and I could deal with things more. That's my big thing. And I just, it, it started to become um, a big thing. It's one of those things that, Five months ago, I started as. So, in five months, I've lost a lot of weight, and I like to think of it as just because of yoga. Now, another thing I recommend. Zumba. Zumba's hard. I'm not going to lie. I did 20 minutes of it, and I was exhausted. So, let's say it snowed outside. Can't go outside and go running, can you? You can't do Zumba. And this actually, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. It helps get your body moving. I recommend any exercise that gets your whole body moving and makes you happy all at the same time. Like, there's even a pose in yoga where you stick out your tongue and open your eyes. It's hilarious. You can't help but laugh. 
and Zumba, you're having so much fun. Once you figure it out, you know, getting to the beat, you're just dancing to the music and you just have so much fun. You gotta find an exercise that gets your whole body moving and that you actually have fun doing. Dance. Dance in general. I mean, it gets your body moving. And it gets the blood flowing and it makes you happy. I mean, what's the point of doing like 10 minutes on the treadmill if you're not happy doing it unless you have like music in the background? Um, for Zumba, you just put something like uh, this around your waist and you just dance. Um, I also have if like arm things, any arm exercises, I recommend using weights or rubber bands if you don't have weights. Rubber bands you can get for like five bucks. They're not expensive. Um, running. So, um, I run. I run now. That's my big thing. Um, I started running, like, for real run. I don't mean, I, to, I, when I mean run, I stuck to schedule. I can't run that much anymore because of my shoulder. Um, I can't really do much exercise right now. And you can tell because I've gained a couple pounds. You're not exercising. It sucks. Run. Try and lose weight. You can't exercise. It's a pain in the butt. So. Running, it helps. Uh, make sure, I re if you're going to run and you're going to have headphones on, I actually don't recommend the earbuds because they tend to fall out. They make the ones that hook around your ear, but mine broke, so I don't have any right now. Or you can get, like, I have this Adidas jacket that has a, um, what is it? Uh, a little slit in the thing so it could come up to my so it's the headphones stay under my jacket since it's cold out right now and when it gets warm out again you gotta find um something you, Nike has a lot of good stuff like that if you don't like Nike sorry I like Nike. and then iPod or Apple has some stuff merchandise Losing weight, it never hurts to get stuff like that because you're going to be, I mean, if you think about it, you're going to keep, even though when you lose your weight, you're going to keep still doing that stuff, and you should, and because it'll help you later on in life. It really will. Um, Water. Drink one cup before and one cup after you exercise and take a break. Take 10 minutes to warm up and 10 minutes to cool down. So if you really think about, let's say you're going to exercise for 30 minutes. Um, actually, is it five? It's five minutes to stretch and ten minutes to cool down to get your, um, like your heart rate down. If you realize that 15, half of your workout is getting ready to work out. It's pretty easy. Um... And during the summer, if you're going to go work out and you live somewhere really hot, uh, take a, uh, have a spray bottle with you. Spray, be spray yourself before you go running, like your hair, back of your ears, back of your neck, top of your head, and just like in your chest. Um, a thing is with, it keeps your body, it helps with over, like, or overheating, sorry. And clothes. Clothes are actually more important than you think. I go hiking, and I've learned through hiking, don't wear cotton. Don't wear cotton uh, when exercising, unless you're, like, doing yoga or something. Um, try to go for polyester. That's cotton better. Cotton keeps in all the heat in your body, and that's not good. And it also keeps the sweat down. You have to sweat because it keeps your body high uh, from overheating. That's what it, sweating is. Um, so don't wear cotton. I recommend polyester or anything for that stretchy or under armor. You gotta wear something. You go full out on your life because you're gonna exercise a bunch. Don't just like, oh, get up and just exercise. Prepare yourself. 
so that you can just get up and exercise, you know? Go upstairs, change your clothes, go running. Bam! That's what I can do now, because I have the stuff to go do. If you go running at night, or running right, like, right before the sun, uh, rises, you gotta get, um, reflecting clothes, too, or bright clothes. Um, and if you live, like, um, back roads, like how I do, be careful of, uh, nature and their animals that like to jump out in the middle of the road, like deer. So, um, that's my exercise thing for me. Um, I also do kayaking. I can't do all that stuff right now. I'm really on a, I'm really restricted right now. My whole shoulder blade is, it's, it's a, um, but when my shoulder blade gets better, I'm going to work my that off again, just like I used to. I am a, if you disagreed with any of my stuff, I'm sorry. I've lost a lot of weight from all of it. And, I mean, you don't have to do everything I said. You can take little bits. That's what I do. I mean, I, I take little bits from everything what I've learned from that. And, that's it. If, you know, the worst comes to serve, if you don't feel like exercising or you're sick, you can sit around. Clean. Play a video or do a, like a you know a Wii game or a PS3 Connect game or the Xbox or whatever that is. Do make, get your body moving around. Do something. Do do a hobby that doesn't include sitting around. I mean, even like you know if you want to paint a picture, that still actually helps you uh, because your body you still have to move to get like to paint. Now if you sit and watching TV. All you do is push and clicker. That's all you do. So, unless you're gonna watch some educational things, even with that, uh, at commercial breaks, or if you have a DVR, take 10 minutes. Every hour show you watch, take 10 minutes of, uh, like, doing push ups or something. Something quick to make up for, um, those calories that you're not losing. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed my um, three part weight loss thing. I've lost 40 pounds in five months. So I kind of know what I'm, you know, I know a little, th I know a little about losing weight. The setbacks are possible. The only thing you can do about those is you gotta work through them. You have to find something motivational and big time for you. And you gotta keep moving on. And you gotta realize that losing weight is short term. Becoming healthy is a long term goal. And it will help you later on in life. Thank you for watching.